Well, it's not every day that the Stanley Cup does a tour around Milwaukee, and that's exactly the mission that was so important for one Wisconsin native who wanted to share the cup with his home state. Tonight, Lily Zhao takes us beyond the game. This was a special day at the University School of Milwaukee. After all, Lord Stanley's Cup was on campus. And there it is, the Stanley Cup, arriving in the hands of Whitefish Bay native and current Florida Panthers general manager, Bill Zito. When something like this happens, it's appreciation and thanks. And there's not a chance that this happens if the university school community didn't help me, support me, teach me, guide me. Zito is a USM alum and played on the hockey team, so he had to bring the cup back to his alma mater. It, it's, it's not tangible. You feel it. It's, a, it's an aura. It's a feeling. And hopefully there's a level of excitement, particularly for the young hockey players when they see it. To me, it still has an energy and a presence. That wasn't lost on the USM boys and girls hockey teams in attendance, because for many, this was a once in a lifetime experience. We're very grateful to have this opportunity and not only this being coming from USM, but it makes it seem very more like reality than it actually is. Obviously all of them grow up watching NHL, so seeing it on TV and then being able to see it in person, and then also see somebody from USM get the cup is just crazy. It's crazy to me. I'm getting goosebumps now just even talking about it. For these players and their coaches, it's also a reminder. This could be one of you guys one day. You just never know whether it's as a player, as a coach, as a general manager like Bill is. It definitely gives kids a, an inspiration to say, hey, maybe I could one day get my name on the Stanley Cup somehow. Until then, the cup will forever have Bill Zito engraved on it. After all, Zito was integral in building a championship team and helping the Florida Panthers win their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Humbling, exciting. The ride was a little uh, nerve-wracking. Boy, did we have a lot of fun. Zito also reminisced about the time he had working in local sports here. He was a stick boy for the Admirals and a bat boy for the Brewers during their 1982 World Series run. That experience was wonderful. It's awesome being from Milwaukee and from Wisconsin, and I think most of us wear it on our sleeve a little bit. That's why Zito wanted to take the cup on a tour of Milwaukee to continue his show of appreciation for the city. He stopped by the Clinical Cancer Center at Freighter and also made stops with the Bucks at Pfizer Forum, the Admirals at Panther Arena, and the Brewers at American Family Field. And every time he holds the cup, Zito is reminded that he reached the pinnacle of hockey success. It hasn't really sunken in. I wish I could say that it has, but it's really humbling. You look at the names on there, it's not that many. It, it, it's, as, it, for, for a hockey person, it's the Holy Grail. Just special. I'm at a loss for words. And sharing that joy with others is priceless. In Milwaukee, Lily Zhao, Fox 6 Sports. Priceless indeed. Lily, thank you. So what's a trip in Milwaukee without a visit to Cops? Well, Zito also stopped by Cops, and there he was able to eat some frozen custard out of the cup to complete his hometown tour. I bet it tasted better out of the cup, don't you think? Yeah.